No, they're not going to let him out. And, and that's never been their intention. But, see, what, what, I, what I really think about that thing is that, see, the government had an operative, not an informant or a snitch, an operative. This is a whole different story. Yeah, an informant <laughs> or a snitch is somebody they grab and they get them to tell on you. They report. And, yeah. Right. An operative is someone they put amongst you to help direct activities. Mm -hmm. All right. Illegal activities. Yes. <laughs> and see, and I, and, and in my, I, I think that the government, that there was a government operative amongst that level of AIM leadership, so to speak, that had access to the level to the AIM leadership wasn't necessarily a part of the AIM leadership, but had access to the AIM leadership. Mm -hmm. And I think because of this operative, I think this, op this operative is behind the firefight in Oglala, where the agents were killed. Mm -hmm. And I think this operative is behind the, the, the murder of Annie Mae, Aquash. And, 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 and the way it, it appears to me is that the operative set manipulated both sides against each other on the firefight thing all right as a part of as part of a larger plan but the plan went wrong and the agents got killed all right mm -hmm. because a plan went bad and and uh see and if that that with that being the case is that the the government needs a scapegoat they need somebody to hold because they can never ever have this come to light that this would have never happened if it hadn't been for the government operative playing both sides the, against the middle. The there are machinations right. in it. Yeah. All right, see, because that means, you know, it's the way the crime <laughs> laws are written. If this guy did it and somebody was killed, then he's culpable too. See, the government now is playing a sure. role in the, the, murder, the killing of their own agents through this operative. See, so I think that's what's at the bottom underneath all of this. They don't, that's why they'll never they, give them they, another they trial. They never want this to come up. Right. All right, and, and, and I really think that that's what the deal is. So what I find interesting, and, and you got to be careful because it's fine lines, but, but all of, through the years, the Peltier support, defense, all this, see, they've, they've only been asking for the government to obey the law, or they've been asking for pity, they've been asking for mercy, they've been asking for things that the government is not known to do. See, so all of the emphasis and energy has been put there, telling the government you're wrong, you're breaking the law. The government knows this. They don't care. We can <laughs> say about it and cry about it all we want practical realities mm -hmm. all right but I don't but but it's never been approached of let's if the operative was there see if the operative was there then this changes the whole legal dynamic in a way yeah. all right that mm -hmm. that alters this thing that could be very beneficial to Leonard so anyway my own personal opinion is they're going to keep him there and hold him there because um, because they don't have to do anything else because the, the, the energy isn't out there to get them to change this thing. Mm -hmm. But I think it's got to do with this operative thing. That's, that's I, I really a, do. That's a complete new slant on it. I've always thought that, uh, you know, as long as he's in prison, then there's an awful lot of people whose energies are tied up trying to get him out. Yeah, but it? they're covering themselves. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, this has just got to be, and the same thing with, with what a, the murdering, the killing of Annie Mae. You know, just the way the whole thing shakes down. The, the government, they're, they're trying a few people here and there now and then 30 years after the fact, mm -hmm. see, but they let enough time pass, see, because the, the operative, see, so I think the, uh, there's an operative who's connected to the killing of Annie Mae and that gunfight that took place in Oglala. And, that, and, and, and nobody's looking. That's what I find interesting. Well, mm -hmm. Oh, I started to say about the Peltier. See, nobody has ever really seriously went searching to see because I figured this operative had there has to be a paper trail left behind in some kind of a way because the operative would need to get credibility with the AIM leadership. So that means the operative would have had to have done certain things in order to get that kind of credibility in order to push them off into doing these kinds yeah, of things. He'd have had some kind of cut. See, so, so somewhere, yeah, so somewhere in there, I know there's a trail, a paper trail, inconsistencies, there are certain things, but no one has ever sat down and made that hunt. Mm, and they may not even know what to look for. Well, I, I would start with the Custer defendants is where I would start. The Custer defendants. The Custer defendants. I would start there. I, I would look at the BIA takeover, the BIA occupation in Washington, D.C., and Custer mm -hmm. defendants. All right? And mm -hmm. I would start, and then, and see, and then a, a, after those two incidents are over, see who is visible publicly. 
and what, mm. and I would hunt from there. 